Hey guys, welcome to our Saturday Night Thrift Haul. Sorry if I just yelled at you. Um, you might notice we look a little different. We are on our laptop. We were trying to stream through our camera the way we do every week and it was not working. For like the last three years. <laughs> I know, it was not working. Um, I'm not really going to be able to read comments. So Caitlin is um, on here. She's gonna be answering questions. I will occasionally stand up and squint and I can read comments or if there's something super important, Caitlin can text me. <laughs> And I'll get it on my phone over here. We're going to make it do. Um, we go live every Saturday night at 8.30 Mountain Time. Um, can't hear or is it just me? Oh, great. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let's check. Mom, not today. You're cute. But not in front of the camera. No, if you knock the cords, it's going to be a problem because we're having a struggle. Sorry. Um, should be able to hear the okay. mic. Okay, Caitlin, working. can you hear me? Can it, comment if you guys can hear me. We can hear you. So Everybody can hear. Caitlin. My mom's like behind the camera doing this. I'm like, not today, mother. Do you need something? or just want to come say hi. All right, tell okay. them where they can find the stuff. Let's get on with the haul. We're ten minutes late. <laughs> Zeb, in case you can't tell, Zeb <laughs> does not like to be late. This is my. I am the on time guy. Okay. We go live every Saturday night at eight thirty Mountain Time. <laughs> Hey, mom and we show junk and my mom and sometimes the dogs and we tell you what we paid for and what we're going to sell it for thank you guys for being patient while we got this loaded we're super excited for this haul tonight um don't forget to share things out we actually do have four share winners from the last two weeks we'll announce about middle of the way through the live video um and we're gonna get going with the thrift haul. Sorry, yeah. we're late. You guys came here to see the junk, and we've got it. Most of this is from Goodwill and the Goodwill bin. Some is from another thrift store called Deseret Industries. Um, if you have been watching for a long time, you know we get the killer deals at the bins and the Deseret Industries. The regular Goodwill store, we find unique things, but not always the best deals. And you can find everything listed at jamierayvintage.com. Kaylin had to step away. She's trying to fix the sound. Um, on her end because she couldn't hear us, but jamierayvintage.com is where all of these items are listed and people have already been doing some shopping. All right, first up, we've got this hand carved uh, wood iron, cast iron uh, hook, and it was $3.99 at Goodwill. Did you get this at Goodwill or did you get this at the bins? What? Because sometimes oh. we find things at the bins and they have prices on them. Let me see what the price is on. No, I, bought that. I think I bought that at Goodwill. Gosh, it's going to be $16.95. Now I'm confused. Yumiko says, love your sweet mom. I love her too. She loves to tease me. Yeah, That's, if she always picks the best timing too. When we're 10 minutes late and running behind. Uh, <laughs> but she doesn't know. She doesn't know that. Okay. Zeb is so flustered. He does not like to be late. It, if we are starting to get late for church, it's a total situation like, in this house. I'm like, the other day, I almost just left everybody home and went to church by myself because they were going to make me miss where I normally sit. And I don't like to push people out of where I normally sit if they're already there. I just got to be early enough that I get the spot. <laughs> All right, I $2.99 from Goodwill. We have a bunch of frames that are going to be $19.95. We're going to paint them. We're going to put some art in them. This was also $2.99 from Goodwill. And it will be $19.95 as well as this one here is going to be $19.95. And we'll either do some rice paper. I actually have quite a few smaller prints that I put on a piece of canvas that just need put cut out. And those, we might put some canvas oh, in here as really well. Fun. I bought these for $2.99 each at Goodwill just because I just thought the, the detail on them was really good. And they're not bad the way that they are. Like you could just leave them as is, but I think they'll be fun to be to be painted. Anytime I buy yeah. frames like this and I paint them, people always really love them. So. Well, usually we'll probably paint them all to match when we're painting them like a batch paint. Um, but that they're all unique. They're all different uh, shapes. So they'll still be interesting and fun, even if they go to the same home, but usually they go different homes. Yeah. If different people buy them, then sometimes I'll paint them all the same, put all the same print in them because they're not going to be in the same home anyways. If they haven't sold by the time I paint them, then I might put different things in there just so they like display well at the store. But we found a long time ago, if we put prints of any kind, even if it's not super pretty in a frame, it always sells well. So if you guys are resellers and you have frames you'd like to move, I highly suggest printing frames. In fact, I've even printed out family photos in black and white and just put them in the frames just because they look so much better. I think this could probably almost be my weird find 
<laughs> of the week plus a thrift store marriage. It's it's like hammered metal. It might even be cast and then welded together. But this is this is metal. It's, it looks like it's like a leather basket or something. And then it obviously needed a bottle or something to put in there. And I found this bottle that fits just about perfect. It's like a hermetic little lid. I just think this would be fun. I did you list this? Is this going to be painted? Or are we leaving it as is? We're going to paint the metal part because I don't. Okay. It's supposed to look like fake leather, but you, it's weird. Yeah, I, I did. I did intend it. to paint it, so I'm glad We're you said that. We're not painting the bottle. You could also put a wine bottle in it. We don't drink, so for two dollars and fifty cents, we bought the carrier and this bottle, and we'll send this bottle with it. It's going to be twenty eight ninety five, all married up together and painted when we're done. When I looked it up, that's a French bottle holder, so maybe that's what they use at the table. I don't know. I Like I said, we don't drink wine. So when we're in France, we also don't drink wine there. So I've never seen one of those. But when I looked it up on Google, that's what it said. <laughs> Is Odelia back in action? She's out with friends tonight. Yeah, so. she went and she drove around today. She took Eliza to Tumbling. And then she went to the grocery store and got some ice cream for grandma. And now she's out with friends. So she says it doesn't really hurt, but she's still like pretty swollen. They had to really dig at her lower ones. They were impacted. Uh, if you don't know, she got her wisdom teeth out on Wednesday, Thursday. Wednesday afternoon. Yeah, Wednesday yeah. afternoon. Yeah, she's a tough cookie. She took like two of the pain meds and she's like, she just like, I don't really need them. The only reason she took them is because she had an upset stomach. And that usually only happens when she's in a lot of pain. So we just were like, well, maybe take the pain meds, see if that's what it was. But really what we found out was it was the laughing gas because she wasn't put out. In case yeah. you didn't know, my daughter had her wisdom teeth out on Wednesday. Um, and the laughing gas, she was just on it too long. It made her sick. We painting this, leaving it wood. What are we doing? <laughs> are you wanting to get back to the sale? No, i am just got something in my hand. <laughs> yeah, we're dry brushing it. So it's solid wood. It's going to be $3.99. It's a letter and key holder. Everything looks a little dark tonight. This camera doesn't uh, pick up the light as well as my big camera. So if we're a little dim, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if we're a little out of it. We're just so used to like everything always working properly. If you guys are on Facebook and you would hit share, that would help us out a ton. It'll let people know that we are live, especially since we were late getting started. Essentially, um, Kimberly says, I love that. And yeah. Angela says, better that she did them now. Yeah, they did say it was good that she did them now because she had three that were impacted. So, so this one here has, you can hang eight keys or different little things from it, letters. And then I like that it has a little shelf because I'm a stacker. So this is perfect for me. This would have like a little knife or other keys. It is my life's work to put away his stuff. Change out of my pocket. Receipts would go here and it would probably fall off and overflow, but I would love it anyway. And then, you know what's <laughs> funny is that because Zeb's a stacker, I'll like put his stacks away. And then if he can't find anything, he blames me because he's like, well, you put it away because I had it in a stack. Yeah, I knew right where it was. Don't touch my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't it's say 40, if we're painting this or not, though. It's forty-four nine. Oh, did I said three ninety-nine. Oh, sorry, it was three ninety-nine. We're going to remove the hardware, dry brush it, put the hardware back on. It's gonna be forty-four ninety-five. Oh, sorry about so that. So we are painting. Heidi says, "I would love to have my mom. My mom is pretty great. I was actually thinking today. She's like, she's eighty-four. She's gonna be eighty-five this year. She's sassy. Like, if you think I'm sassy and I have opinions." You should meet my mom. <laughs> I come by it naturally. Where's she at? Is she still around? She's also losing her filter, so it's extra fun. Yeah. <laughs> so she says stuff. She don't. She's gonna watch. She knows she watches. She's all gonna hear stuff. this because she watches so our videos. Trouble. All right, show them that egg basket. Okay, this egg basket I love. It opens up into like a floral kind of uh, sunflower look, but also keeps your eggs from spilling and falling out, and has a handle. Uh, this is this was two dollars at the thrift store. We're selling it for twenty eight ninety five. Needs a little bit of scrubbing. It's been in a kitchen, so we'll scrub scrub that up good. It's not bad. It just has like a couple little flecks of like grease and splatter on it. I love how when you close the handles, it kind of domes, so mm -hmm. you can actually overfill. You know how when you have too many eggs. In case you guys haven't noticed, we have a ton of eggs. We actually gave away a dozen eggs to the neighbor those, at the shop today. Those are eggs right there um because that's where we keep our chickens we get some eggs but we did not get eggs for a long time but it's been warm well, richard's been super sad because he scrambles eggs up and feeds them to his dog because they love them and they're good for them and he only does that when he gets extra eggs from us so our eggs are back uh, but i gave him a dozen today and we still have this many i probably bought like 
12 to 15 dozen eggs over the winter, which is a lot for us. So I'm glad to have those back. And anyways, I love egg baskets. All that to say, I love egg baskets. This is I a love that you can pile one. them high. Oh, you're you gonna can skip really it? fling that with your hand. <laughs> but it's got a dome top, so nothing's falling out. And B says, myself, I will not wait that long to lose my filter. <laughs> She, oh, do it's we not a recent eggs? thing. It's just almost all the way gone now. So yes, we do. <laughs> My mom lives with us. We have five children, four that live at home. Um, and then in addition to that, we have tons of family, cousins that are over here, uh, friends. I feel like sometimes, especially as the weather gets warmer, we feed the whole neighborhood. So yeah, we go through. And if we have lots of eggs, we eat more egg-based meals like um, crepes or German pancakes. French toast. Uh, I'll make eggs. I'll put eggs in my bread. We eat a lot of eggs. Today we did uh, kind of like a grilled egg like tortilla. Like a crunch wrap? Yeah, like a crunch wrap for Taco only... Bell, but like a Zeb wrap. Yeah, a Zeb. Because <laughs> I did it. Zeb made him. He, <laughs> what did I do while you were cooking? I matched socks. You were matching socks. All right, show me your bucket. I'm gonna it was an even first... trade because I was not going to get around to ever matching those socks. Zeb, I, have, I have what I Zeb call the basket. Zeb hates to be late and he hates to match socks, but he's I have super a cute, basket so. method. Um, all clean laundry goes in a basket, and I just use it out of the basket and put it in another basket when it's dirty. That basket method is awesome with as many people as we have in there. Show them your bucket. This bucket was two dollars. We're not doing a thing to it. It's got brass handles. It's got like a brass belt or band around it here. I'm gonna flip it around. Look at the tarnish on the back side, and it's got like a little rustiness on the front. It looks like it's been by the ocean. Yeah, we don't I, have any ocean think, over here. I think what's happened is this was probably on a front porch, and someone's sprinklers got it every day. We got real hard water because the water comes straight out of the mountains, and it has a ton of minerals in it. And I think that's what happened. Yeah, it's cool. Because someone had planted in it. I thought that I listed this one separately, but I'm not sure if I did. So I'll show the big ones. We found a bunch of antique canning jars. These are clear, but they are pretty old. This is Jeanette Mason Home Packer. Um, and then we've got this square Presto Mason Supreme. I even have a magic star, like a magic star jar. Um, those are old and worth quite a bit. And most of these jars are starting at $4.95. This is an antique ball jar. I actually like to can in my antique jars because they're thicker glass um, and they're just pretty and i actually prefer canning and clear over blue i use blue for decorative uses but for actual like canning purposes food looks better and i have canned in those blue jars <laughs> it's not very appetizing clear is best um, I it makes everything it. all your food look like it's green and when you're doing like orangish peaches and apricots and carrots it's not the, not the best when you yeah do it. i love i love clear and anyways, uh, we looked up, we have a bunch of Kerr jars, and a lot of them have a lot of variances. Kerr jars are actually hard to find the age and the origination. Ball oh. jars are much more organized. Caitlin, she is making those live. Sorry, those I listed earlier in the week. I was wondering why no quilts have sold. <laughs> the quilts are with the canning jars, uh, except for the one quilt that we, we have listed We have today. quilts here. You can kind of see the corners. So if Caitlin is going to go ahead and get all of that stuff active, I list, usually I list quite a bit of stuff on Monday, but then we thrift a second day and that stuff gets separated. All right. I'm going to rapid fire some frames here. These are all kind of like a gold plastic. We are not painting these ones, so you're going to have to keep up, but these are getting new art and they're getting not getting painted um these are 1995 getting new art not getting painted they're smaller we have two of them jamie didn't like how kind of pixelated and fuzzy the picture the was art isn't good but i love oval frames so we're gonna we're gonna make them good and then the so those are gold is not good those are 1995 not come to be confused with these that have like the braided rope around the edge that look, these ones are getting painted. They are, are you leaving the art in these or no? Um, I am leaving the art in those, but I'm gonna paint the frame to match the art. So these are prints, but they look like they were like canvas um, and they, they're they better. This is different frame style. These are $39.95. The frame's gonna get painted much larger than the $19.95. Yeah, I'm gonna pick a color in here and match them and then I'll prime these because these are like that. 70s 80s plastic and then we have this one here also 39.95 once the frame gets painted they're sirocco no they're not Sirocco. yeah they're... your sirocco piece has oh. a true metallic finish i thought it was home. a true metallic a true metallic plastic yeah <laughs> like... okay hold on i'm not done i have two more frames to show you 
Yeah, I love. I just ran out of hands. You ran. You ran. So these ones, um, people, I actually really like these ones too. They have like hummingbirds, and then there's one with like uh, okay. regular birds. So also Sirocco, same as the the oval ones. They might have been different. There we go. All right, I'm using this little wrought iron easel back here, which I'll show you in a second. Um, also getting painted, art's not getting changed. If you go to the website, you can see the art much better. Uh, JamieRavenTrichy.com. Yeah, sorry, it's hard to pick up. Caitlin's dropping the links, and she did just make the jars and the quilts um, and everything that we had thrifted on Monday that I had listed on Monday active. So if you were looking for the quilts, hop back over to the website. They're on there. And if you've already ordered... Um, and you email info at jamierayvintage.com. Caitlin can combine shipping to what it would have been if you would have ordered all of As long as the orders are within a... If it's within 24 hours. Yep. Okay, so raw iron easel. This is a good example of... It's just like a little tabletop easel, 1995 on that. Came from the bin. So Pretty simple was, design. It's really heavy. So yeah. because they sell by the pound, they just gave that to me for $1.99. Um, but you saw, saw me, it held all that art fine. Like no risk of tipping over. Is it those look easel. like home interiors? I thought they were home interiors too, but the label says Sirocco. Um, so the, the, Oh, Sirocco by home interiors. They're all Sirocco. It's yeah. funny. Leah says real plastic metallic is an oxymoron. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was thinking of. Like, that's so funny that they would say like real, uh, <laughs> Anyways, real metallic. Yeah, it's a real metallic plastic frame, which... Then we have this tiny frame. little frame. This is made in Italy, and it's like an older plaster frame. We're leaving the old-style floral art in there. It's going to be it's $18. Good. It's from Italy. Was this from the bins? There's no price no, no, on no. this one. It was a dollar, I think, from um, DI, Desert oh, Industries. Okay. And they had a larger one, but I was literally like 30 seconds too late. Do you ever do that when you're thrifting and you miss something and you're like so sad? Like I could have all the amazing junk in the world, but if I miss out on one thing, I'm always so sad about it. All right, I brightened up my screen. I hope we're actually this bright for everybody. I think my we screen are. was I dimmed. I didn't just look dark because you had your my screen. My screen was dimmed to yeah. halfway. I'm like, why is that like? And in case anybody thinks I'm drinking an energy drink, this is pineapple juice. I just needed a little sugar. <laughs> My blood felt like my blood sugar was getting a little low. Well, on top of everything else, Eliza has like four girls hanging out in the pool with her. Your bird is purple because they change as like the longer you're with uh, as a paid channel member. I don't know. Is purple what level is purple? Uh, I think it goes green, purple. Then there's like a, I don't know what the I think there's gold. Like le gold must be like the longest gold one because Renee lo and Leslie are both gold. Gold is after two years. You hit two years at gold, and then there's a silver at one year, and then it jumps to two years before you get another bird. And I think Leslie and Renee and a few others have been around for almost four years we've been doing channel membership or something close to that. It's been a hot minute. All right. Um, also, this week... We are going to announce the time, but it's probably going to be later in the afternoon for channel membership. Yeah, just before we I have, forget to tell you guys, because we have an appointment in Salt Lake we can't miss and could not change because it is not an actual appointment for us, but we still need to attend. <laughs> so it's, and it's been important. So we'll probably do be like one or two o'clock, but we'll let you guys know on Tuesday about that. If you guys are channel members. All right. Can you believe it? This swan, this planter here was $3 at guess where? Deseret Industries. The Deseret Industries, the DI. I'm like, there's something in my eye. I'm not painting it. If it doesn't sell in the creamy bisque that it is, then I probably will paint it and raise the price. But a lot of people said to leave it as is. And I don't hate the cream. I feel like it's a really good neutral. If you don't love the floral, if you just flip it around the other way, it's no floral just on this side. I actually, to me personally, I would probably put out the not floral. Unless I paint it, then maybe, but that would be a lot of effort to like paint those individually. So it's Den going to be twenty two ninety five. Denise has been a channel member from the beginning, so sixty two months. Wow, Denise, yeah. that's a lot of months we've been hanging. Okay, out. so we're coming up on uh, how many years is that? Well, forty eight is four. So we started it when we were building the house. Okay, right before actually, I think yeah. it was right before we bought it because we're like. No, it was. It was. I thought it was after. How long have we owned this house? How many? Just twelve months in a year. 30, 12, so we it'll be four years in July that we've owned it. Oh, I guess we have done channel. I think we did business coaching no. when we started building a house. No, it'll be five years in July because we bought it in July 2019. of 2019. Oh, my gosh. Look at 
That's crazy. Oh my <laughs> you goodness. guys have been with us a long time on this journey. It's been a wild ride. So it's been it's been something. <laughs> All right, I have a bunch of books. Let me bring some of these up, and then we'll show you. We got some fun. There's a statue here. We've got a little topiary and a bunny that we need the to show you. The bunny is my favorite. Okay, Reader's Probably Digest. already sold. These ones, I found these all at the bins, and they're all, like someone had the same era of book because they kind of have a style depending on what release the book is. These ones are probably from, I want to say the 80s, 86, 1986 on this one. Um, but I think they all go really well together. Just fun, colorful books. Uh, a lot of times we just throw them up on the coffee table, depending on what time of year it is and what colors they are. But these ones are nine ninety five. We got them from the bin, so we probably paid around a dollar a book. Yeah, they do. By the way, we are really like we will pick them up all the time, and we sell Reader's Digest books. Now that we started carrying them, people know that we have them, and they will search like with the, we have this little magnifying glass, and they'll search for Reader's Digest, and they'll pick out all their favorite colors. And I would say we sell no less than six a week on average. Like people know we have them, so they come regularly to find them. All right, we have some other fun books. We don't always just buy old books. I love coffee table books. Anybody that's ever seen my living room knows I have a stack this high of books because I just love to sit in the living room and read. So this is like a coffee table book slash cookbook because Reed Drummond, the pioneer woman, she <clears throat> she's kind of like an author, a vlogger, blogger. She does all the things. And she puts a story with all of her recipes. So it's definitely something that's good reading. I actually was watching the Pioneer Woman on, we have like Discovery. And I saw when her baby who just, he just played his first season of college football when he was having his seventh birthday. Yeah. She had it in one of her videos. And I was like, that's why I love what we do because I love to look back on the videos. And so Pioneer Woman, she doesn't know me, but I'm pretty sure that we would be BFFs um, <laughs> if she did. The book is itself without the uh, book cover the... is like her typical, like minty, like almost like a turquoise aqua color with some white. And that book is 1995, right? Yes. Okay. 1995 on this one. Um, someone asked last week when I got my love for books or if I was an author, I don't, I'm not an author. I do love reading. I read a ton. I was the kid at school that like had a book with him at lunch uh, and in between classes and before class started. And I did that all the way through high school. And he's been writing a book for 20 years. I actually, I'm on like the eighth different one now. Yeah, in his spare time. <laughs> I write. If I can't, can't sleep, sleep, I write. I write stories, typically fantasy or sci-fi. Um, next book. Maybe one of these My days I'll publish BFF one. that doesn't know me yet, Joanna Gaines. She did once um, <laughs> comment on a chair of mine. Uh, and actually, I think something else. She commented on something else, and somebody messaged me. I didn't even see that she had commented. They're like, oh, my gosh, Joanna Gaines just commented on your Instagram. And I was like. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is her homebody book. It's one of her very popular ones. We actually have this book at our house. Um, this one is new. It was $40. This is in new condition. I don't think anyone's even hardly it cracked it open. It does have a little bit uh, in the cover like this. There's like a little rip in the back. Yeah. It's $24.95 from us. What I love about it, I actually have this book and I made notes in mine, is she has places to work in it so you can go over different parts oh, and then like show take you. notes. There's I don't like want to open it too wide because like the binding I is still... I love when the new book cracks. Yeah, we don't want to... But there's like workbook pages in it. Yeah, so she shows you kind of some examples on how to lay your house or your room out on graph paper. And then she she included some graph paper in here for you. Should we bring back Jack saying hit the subscribe button? I feel like that would be fun. We'd have to pull it off an old video because I don't even know if we have the original. I have, I have all the, the original, original stuff, clip. yeah. Maybe, yeah. We'll, maybe we'll bring that back. Jack is going to be... Jack is like three years old. This year. And he's, he's got fun. like a kind of that three-year-old little can't do his R's good and, and his S's. He's like, hit the subscribe button. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> he was a cutie. He still is. His teacher, Jack is just like me, ADHD, talks too much in class, but his... Teacher, when he has parent teacher conferences, like, what's not to love about Jack? And I was like, true, what's not to love about Jack? Like, he's a little naughty, he is a little loud, but he's just really loving and sweet. So, <laughs> all right, next book. This one I did not know was going to be a, a book that was worth a ton of money. The Ashley Book of Knots. I actually found this used on Amazon for 50 bucks. 
Um, it was originally published by Doubleday. Is this part of it, the knots in the back? I don't think so. I think someone was just using this to practice and they left it on their book. And I actually love that. So I am leaving it on there. It's literally like 300 pages of how to tie knots, what they're used for, how to do them, like everyday applications for these knots. And I just, honestly, it's like super valuable. Seb, how would you best describe when I tie knots to tie furniture to like the top of something or a truck? <laughs> Come on. Scary? How would you, scary? <laughs> they make it home. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> Zeb's got the Boy Scout uh, knots down pat. I am actually not a great knot tire. I wish I was better. My dad, farmer boy Lynn, can uh, tie just about every knot under the sun. Like, he once knot. tied a knot that had like a mechanical application in it to pull a tree over, and we literally pulled a tree over with a rope. Your dad is a jack of a lot of trades. All right, did you tell him that one's thirty six ninety five? Thirty six ninety five on Ashley's book of knots. But I will get it done. It might not be the right way, but I'll get it done. All right, next up, we've got this. It's just like a wall sconce. These are not like super fast sellers, but every now and then we'll sell every sconce we own. So this one was a good one. I don't love the cream. I feel like it needs to be redone. It's got some scuffs. So I'm going to repaint it probably like a darker color and then bring this cream back and it'll be $24.95 once we paint it. Sorry about all the long book stories. I went light on the books this week. I only got like six or seven of them or eight. Alley Cat <laughs> says, congratulations to the buyer because that book sold. Oh, nice. I'm not surprised. It was a good book. You know, I've not seen it in all of, we, and we do, I look at books at a lot of different thrift stores. That's the first time I've seen that one. All right. We got a couple creamers here. This one's genuine stoneware, uh, microwave oven, dishwasher safe. So it's not crazy old, but was made in Japan. And it's got kind of like that, almost like a mid-modern, you can see the brown on there. Uh, maybe even 70s it's a, vibe. It's a pitcher when we listed it, but to me, it's like a gravy though. Yeah. Like an oversized creamer. Big creamer. And then this is on the verge of being a small creamer. This is a stoneware. A I small pitcher. Yeah, I don't I, know if this has a maker on it, but it's, it's extra good. heavy. And so I said it was an ironstone style because it looks like ironstone, but there's no maker mark. So I have no idea. So I think this one was like $1.50 or $2. This one I know was $1.50. You can see kind of the different colorations on them. This one's a little more yellow cream, and this one's a brown cream um, and different styles. But this one is $17.95, and this one is $19.95. So oddly enough, we used to sell these in the shop. This was actually the most popular um, one that we had, and we used to sell them for $9.95. I picked this up for $0.75 cents at the thrift store, and we're selling it for $4.95. Super cute. And it just, I love things like this because you don't think that you need them until you're like pulling a little vignette or an area together and you just need a little something like these, these are invaluable. I actually have a whole shelf in the basement of like greenery and little things that as I'm rearranging, I can like pull from. So that one's a good one. All right. We have a woman statue, uh, but bust, bust. Jamie's going to paint it. I, I would imagine she'll probably go metallic. Some, yeah, it's some kind of gold go or copper, copper. Or gold with dark wax. I used to do a lot of weathered wood and white dry brush, but I've been loving the metallics. Just they look really good, and it's a pretty bisque as is, it's but not, it just kind of goes away. I feel like if it's copper, it's gonna just look so much better. Or yeah, you guys metallic. can't even really see the details. She's got like frilly uh, around her collar here. She's got like frilly uh, floral design and braided hair. Leslie Jackson says she once um, tied a fabric recliner chair to the trunk of her BMW and drove it home 30 miles. So my friend Marlene, I don't think she's on here, but she has a convertible. And if she has something that will not, like, if she knows has something that's kind of oversized, she will totally put it in her convertible. I can't remember what I bought from her. Maybe it was. down and now you've got, you know, sky's the limit, literally. I think she brought me, have you guys seen, we have this gorgeous giant mirror. It looks very French and old. It's actually like styrofoam. And I bought that from Marlene. Oh, it didn't have any mirrors wall. in it um, when we got it. And we painted it to look cool. And then we put these mirrors in it. And she brought that, I think, in her convertible. So where there's a will, there's a way. All right, next up, cute little birdhouse. It's got a natural wood lacquered top. You can put feed in here. And then the little birds come and eat the feed. 
Um, it doesn't have a way to like dump it, but I think you could still use it because the birds can sit here and then their poop would be out here. <laughs> yeah. They, they don't, normally don't poop where they eat, right? No, that's not true. No, birds, they do? birds are indiscriminate. Our chickens poopers. poop everywhere. It, so Zeb cleaned out the chicken coop today, story time. And it literally looked like striped wallpaper in the coop because we have like a dark gray plastic shed coop from well, Costco. So I have an old ladder, like an old apple orchard ladder that, and they sit I, on the ladder and that I cut in half that, to fit inside of that shed we got from Costco. And they projectile off the back of that onto the wall of the shed. <laughs> I'm like pinstripe chicken coop all right, this it is hose dried off on that note you can get your own bird feeder for 1995. it's a really fun little bird feeder oh we should probably do share winners let me get oh, my phone Suzanne so you can read says, it first time buyer she got the first time watcher she got the joanna Gaines book oh I that's fun youtube videos but never live so and i think she's she's from texas nice the live videos are it's where you get all of the uh, the insider. If you ever wanted the tea, if you ever wanted to see our kids be crazy or my mom pop in or the dogs or see Zeb flustered because we're 10 minutes late because of the camera, like this is this is it. All right. Facebook share winners. We have four oh, yeah. of them because we missed the week that Caitlin was she was in Disneyland last weekend. And um, she keeps track of them for us, so they're yeah, different she, every week. They're she has the running them. list of who's won. We try to mix it up. That doesn't say that doesn't mean you can't win again if you've already won. So please keep sharing. We appreciate that, but we do try to spread it out. Um, all right. So Chrissy Oaks Early Wine, Lenore Ares A Y R E S, Kimberly Stroud Jones, and Thelma Milligan. If, you, if, if those are you, you need to email uh, and that you need to email us your address so we can mail you something. Info at jamierayvintage.com is where you send that email. If you can't find that, it's on the bottom of every page on our website. Yeah, and Caitlin is going to drop that or already probably has dropped it in comments. She's awesome about keeping track and helping us pick share winners because you know, we all have our skills. Kaylin has organizing skills. <laughs> I can organize, but it's extremely painful for me. Um, also, I wanted to let you guys know, since we're at the middle of the live, um, we do have, we updated some retired IOD in our sale collection to 40% yeah. off. So if you guys are shopping and you want to get a good deal, check the JRV sale collection, scroll through it because it will probably be on the bottom because um, it organizes based off of what it was put onto the website. So a lot of the IOD stuff that's old will be in the back of the sale collection, but it's been raised to 40% off. So if you're buying the new IOD, you can pick up some old stuff on sale. Um, and we're doing that because um, Iron Orchid Designs just launched 15 new products that we have we on our website. We got to make space. <laughs> so we got to sell some of the retired stuff that's been kicking around for a while. So we knocked that down to 40% off. So check out the JRB sale collection. Um, at jamierayvintage.com. All right. We have this fun little bunny. It's, I think it's resin, but it's felted over the top of it. It's like the craziest little thing I've seen because it's colored too. Um, this was $1.50 at the thrift store. It's $14.95. So if you're not sure what's valuable, you can use Google and just take pictures while you're in the thrift store. Like pick all the things you love, then <clears> take a seat on a chair if you if you live on the edge because so you never know where the chair's been. And then take pictures of stuff and just sit there and you can look up the values while you're at the thrift store. I have never on the Google once reverse been like, image. Oh, I shouldn't sit in that chair yeah, while I, don't I was care. at the thrift store. I just know there's a lot of people that are germaphobes. Clearly we're not. But no. I just respect, you know, maybe you are, but if but I'm just saying you can do that. You can sit there. You, that's how you learn. And then you're not taking a gamble. Sometimes I will just buy stuff like this had no idea what the value was, had no idea what it was, but I was like, you know what? That's $2. It looks really interesting. And it's at least worth just for what it is, even if it's not collectible, $6.95. So I'm willing to take the gamble. It's an oatmeal colored milk glass. It's almond. Or almond, yes. It's custard there ware you go. is what it's called, I think. Um, But we didn't check to see if it glows. I have my black light. Will it glow like uh, I could take off? it in the room and see. I don't know if we'll be able to show them. Okay. You can't find the IOD sale. So, Kate, Leslie, if you go to the JRV sale collection, you're going to need to scroll through that and you should be able to find it. No glowing. It's not that. Okay. 
It's Westmoreland glass. It's custard ware. I had no idea. I asked, actually, when we did the video, I asked, I was like, do you guys know what this is? And then everybody told me what it was in the video. But it was worth $2 to take the gamble. Bring it close so you guys can see it good. It's really pretty. So, so I um, saw these for as much as $70. And ours, I think, is, I mean, it's in as good a shape as any I saw now. online. Um, and we're selling ours for $34.95. Thanks, Caitlin. She just dropped a link to the retired IOD. It's also in the sale collection. Mike says, oh, you know what? Did we list the flag? We have it here, but I don't know that we listed it. I don't it. know if we listed the flag. So we'll get this listed next week, but we found this in the We bins. have a couple items that we need to list. Um, and this is a vintage flag. I we'll wanted to refold it now that we got it home, so it's like really tight and yeah. crisp. It has, I mean, there is like a little age on it, but we'll show it better next week. Yeah. And anytime we find a flag at Spins, it's not that they just throw stuff everywhere. We will always save them yeah, because it just drives me crazy. It's like, not hard. Like I'll walk up to the bins and people are literally throwing the flag around because it's like on top of stuff. I'm like, where are you monsters from? Like, who raised you? <laughs> monsters? I feel like that might be a little excessive. You never know who did raise them or didn't raise them. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. But we do save them and take them home because some people just don't know. <laughs> yeah. I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. Okay. Okay. This is a fun one. This one was given to us this week. We I, do have a few I think things. They said her name was Elaine. If if I'm getting that name wrong, I'm sorry. There wasn't a note in the box, but I think as we were running out the door with the box, Maria said that her name was Elaine, which I just that's my middle name. So I like committed it to my memory. So I think that's 1985 right. John Wright Co the gingerbread house cast in the usa um so you've got your one pan one side of the panel here then you can flip it and do the other side of your gingerbread and make a whole complete house with trees and gingerbread people this is going to be 26.95 less is on here and she said hi hey less we hadn't seen less in a while and so i messaged her just to make sure she's doing okay she's not been feeling the best but we've been praying for her so we're glad you're here. All right. That bunny is cute. I'd be surprised. I didn't see if that sold or not, but I'm pretty sure it did. If it didn't, it's going to live at my house. Okay. I know this one sold. Little strawberry shortcake. Does it still? Does she it's, smell like strawberries? No, she smells like um, baby powder. <laughs> <laughs> like somebody had a baby power powder spray or something at their house. I thought she'd still smell like strawberries. Strawberry shortcake. I had an entire strawberry shortcake room. Um, and just got this cute little uh, crocheted outfit on. And this is from DI. It was a dollar, and we're selling it for $18.95. All right. This mixing bowl I love because it has like a pour spout. Um, and it is it is like that stoneware style or ironstone st style. Um, I believe it's French. I looked it up like six different places, and everything kept coming up French. I could not find any maker mark on it, uh, but that doesn't mean anything. Uh, this is what was giving it away. Ooh, Ooh saved by that. the thigh. Pinch that with my thigh on the counter. Um, it's it's got it's got like a fluted edge, and then on each side, I don't know if that's for holding it or it went into something like some sort of holder originally. Um, but it was the same style. This is going to be, it was $3 at the thrift store. It'll be $14.95. Do I say dollar weird? Somebody said they liked the way I say dollar. I don't know. You say a lot of words weird. You <laughs> I were, do not. You were raised with an old guy from Michigan. Somebody asked if the pictures were the same. <laughs> one is hummingbirds and the other one is like two birds facing each other. Um, if you bought both of them and you have questions, though, you can email info at JanuaryVentures.com. Oh, I, I almost forgot. Oh, okay. we're not selling these tonight. These are not for sale, them. but I've been dying to show you guys. So we're at the bins, and I often find books that are, like, on their last leg. This is Webster's Encyclopedia. It's not crazy old. I think it's from, like, the 70s or something like that. Somewhere in there. Old enough to have some good age on the pages. Oh, 93 oh 96 not even not even that and old it's falling apart we but, found it in the bins and rescued it so what we're going to do is we're going to print and i want to do some bunnies we're going to do some botanicals maybe some butterflies 
Um, we haven't got them listed yet. Maybe by next week we'll have them. I'll let you guys know. There'll be limited runs based There'll off of what runs, books yeah. I find, but I have 2,200 pages here. So we got And some they're runs. not going to be on like a specific page. I'm not going to do yeah. that. Yeah. What we'll do is we'll have like different images and we'll sell the images and then the background may vary, but, but I think they're really cool. But here's the back, right? Regular uh, dictionary page. And then here's the front. And somehow I got. Uh, I perfectly got that sailboat right in between. Well, almost perfectly. <laughs> that was that wasn't on, that so wasn't coming intentional. Coming soon, dictionary print. So just an idea of something you could do. Um, I would say not all printers will work well. Like we have a super high quality, can, but you could try them. So if you buy one of our books, so you something try them. that's unique about our printer. I guess it's not super unique, but I can tell it exactly what size the paper is and the print, and it'll do that. Yeah, and Zeba also can format things to fit, but. A good idea if you guys have old books that you don't know what to do with. Okay, next up, we've got clocks. So this one has brass bunny ears. They're actually kind of heavy. I, I actually this. would not put this by your like above your bed because I worry that if like, it's like an alarm clock. <laughs> These are so like, wobbly though. Like, <laughs> like look at them. They're just. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's Pottery Barn Teen. We picked it up at uh, Goodwill. How much did I pay for that? Uh, this was $3.99. We're selling for $19.95. I was too cute. I couldn't leave it. I love bunny ears. So. And it's going to be loud. I wonder if this is just loose because these need tightened. Well, I'll let you do your, um, yeah. your work here. Hold on. Uh, next up, this was, this is a really cool silver, um, clock. We're not doing anything to it. It was $5.99 and we're selling for $19.95. And then this clock is a Napoleon hat style. That's what this, if you ever find them, that's what this is, a Napoleon hat. Was two dollars. We're gonna paint it. It's not anything special, so I don't feel bad painting it. And it'll be twenty four ninety five once it's all painted up. All right, are you fixing it? It's less floppy. We're getting there. Less floppy. I think it's supposed to still be a little floppy, but they're floppy bunny ears. We are gonna be late tonight. Sorry, guys. Yeah, we got a big haul. We were ten to twelve minutes late. We're chatty. Anyway. So, Which is causing me to be more chatty because now I'm even more tired than I was. You think ten minutes wouldn't matter, but. It does apparently. You guys see the pink in my cheeks. I spent a lot of time outside today planting stuff. In it's the 58 pool. degrees today. It felt like a summer day. I'm wearing shorts. Yeah, it was actually 60 <laughs> at one point, and our pool is heated, but at 60 with the pool heated, it was just like after a long winter, it was amazing. And snow is coming later this week, so we're gonna live it up. Okay, <laughs> Cadbury's. I think I paid a dollar. Yep. A dollar for this. I love the vintage images on it. The can itself is not that old, but it was really cool. And I'm selling it for $9.95. Leslie said it was 70 degrees in Washington. Nice. Um, Mimiko says, run as long as you want. We will. And if Caitlin needs to go, Caitlin, just shoot me a text. I can, I won't be dropping links because I'm not good at that, but I can drop like just the thrift haul link. Did you show these? Do I need to go put nope, them up? We're ready to show them. Okay. okay this was from Elaine. Um, it's blue and white and it's got like fruit on the front of it and it's $19.95 for this canister with lid. And then this soup terrine was it a dollar fifty or three dollars? Okay. It was so cheap that everybody had to comment at the thrift hall. Um, they're like, they can't believe that I got that cheap. It does have a chip, um, but it does have the spoon, Still, which is great. It's a you you could pay six, seven dollars for this. Yeah. I actually like them without the lid, without the spoon, with dirt and um, bulbs forced in it. I actually have some bulbs I put in a couple of things I'd gotten at Ikea and stenciled on on our dining table. I'll try to show that next week. Um, I was going to buy some cut flowers, and I went to the grocery store, and they had potted flowers. And I thought maybe they'll last a few weeks. <laughs> are you trying not to yawn? No, but the flowers you got are pretty frost-resistant, um, so I think they'll be all right. They're on the table. Oh, you didn't plan it. Oh, I'm those thinking. ones. Yeah. I didn't even see you planted. That's what I was inside. just talking about. You, you remember when you were gardening and you're like, I thought you were going to clean the house while I was gardening. I did. I cleaned the house and then I planted. I redid the. We weren't table. doing fun gardening. We were pulling all the weeds <laughs> that sprout up first. Particularly. Can you tell how much this is. Uh, yeah, twenty nine ninety five. Yeah, it's funny. He he doesn't really he wasn't really upset, but he came home and teased me. He's like, I thought you were gonna clean the house. Well, she told me before I left. She's like, I think I'm just gonna stay here and pick up the house and tidy up a bit. And I got home and that had not happened, and I teased her about I it. I had tidied up a bit, but then I also did some decorating, <laughs> which is also cleaning. All right, Pioneer Woman ceramic. Uh, this is heavy. Uh, rolling pin. It's twenty two ninety five. It's a good one. 
And then Zeb, show them your little lantern. So there. I love this little lantern. <clears throat> it holds a tea light in the bottom. There's a little spin thing. You put your drop your tea light in, put it in, and then you can actually hang it. I don't know that I'd recommend carrying it with a tea light because there's nothing to really hold the tea light down um, unless you waxed it to the bottom. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about this. We've had a lot of people that are new to the channel or have never seen us before. And they're like, wow, they bought that for $2 at the thrift store and they're selling it for $19.95 or $20. A lot of times we sell at market value and we're fortunate enough, we're very blessed to live in a place that gets a lot of donations at our thrift stores. And so stuff is cheap. Also, you also didn't see behind the scenes where I scrubbed the kitchen fur off it of this for 10 pretty, minutes. That was pretty It was gross. like greasy and oily and gross. So, I mean, yes, we're selling it for what it's worth but and we got it cheap but also there's usually a lot so of leg is work every other reseller that's out there. there's usually a lot of leg work that goes into this and if you resell you know exactly what i'm talking about a lot of you do resell um but this is 16.95 i'm not painting this one love it just as is we've actually had resellers be like you shouldn't tell people what you paid you're you're ruining it i, I actually have to say that i feel like honesty and being up front is always the best policy. Occasionally I'll miss something, but I really try in my listings to include pictures and details about the like condition of things. And I also am really honest in like how much we sell things for, how much we buy things for. Because when we first got started, I have, I don't think I know that I've shared this for a while. When we first got started, everything, everybody in the business was zip lipped. So I would go to like markets and Want, have questions about things and nobody would ever share anything so before we, we knew how to dark wax it took our manufacturer to like to explain to us how to use the light white and dark wax like we painted a ton of stuff but we'd we never really messed around wax. with waxing anything and nobody had any videos and nobody would no share one was telling us no one was showing us this was like when youtube was first getting started and going there wasn't a lot of info out there and even she was like hesitant to give us the secrets she's like you're not going to share this with everybody on your channel are you we were, we're like, like um yeah, we yeah we're going to show everybody and then we're going to sell a lot of your, the, your white wax once we figure out how to use this good <laughs> uh, my point being that like we we probably overshare a lot of behind the scenes and tips and tricks and things because i just feel like it's helpful i wish that somebody would have done it for me when i got started all right, this is um, Mexican pewter. We thought it was aluminum because it's a little bit lighter, not as heavy as a lot of uh, pewter is, but Mexican pewter. Uh, what, where did we get this? Is this from the bins? Yeah, it's so, an old rotten dish. So probably a dollar for this. We're selling it for eighteen ninety five. All right, so we have two pie plates. This one was three ninety nine, stamped USA lemon meringue custard, and this one is Watkins, and that was also three ninety nine at Goodwill. Um, and we're selling them both for $19.95. And that one's chicken pot pie, which is Zeb's favorite. If you, and lemon meringue, which my mother loves. If you get this chicken pot pie plate, I don't, I'm not going to require you to make a pot pie. But if you do make it from this recipe, can you please take a picture for me and share it in the Jamie Ray Vintage group or email the picture to info at jamierayvintage.com? Because I would love to see this with a pie in it. All right, so we have- I love pies, and Zeb I don't get to loves, eat them very often. He's a guy who loves pie. All right, so we have six of these. I only grabbed three to show. These are dance bistro, bistro, bistro little dishes. You could put a little ice cream sundae in it or a parfait. Um, these were given to us by Elaine, and we're selling for $12.95 each. I think they're really cute, very French looking. And then I love hand-thrown pottery. This also came from Elaine, but it's- hand-thrown pottery with a lid. And anybody who's ever done pottery, getting a lid that fits is pretty impressive. Um, this also came from Elaine, and I'm selling it for $14.95. And then I have another piece of hand-thrown pottery. This one I thrifted for $2. A hand-thrown batter bowl, you're gonna probably pay up to $40 plus dollars for, from a maker. Um, and we paid $2. It's got the initial B on the bottom and we're selling it for $19.95. And I love the glaze on it. The glaze kind of drips down like batter. It's not completely perfect, which, you that know, pretty indicative better. of a handmade product. You can get machine made products that are imperfect, but usually they're making so many of them. They just kick those out as seconds or just trash them and start over. A big, Biggie says you need to snap a picture of the pie recipe so you can make it. Oh, 
You're right, Vicky. When we make chicken pot pie, we usually don't use a recipe though. I just make yeah, a white gravy and I put like all a, the stuff in it and then I make pie crust. It's almost like a dump pie. You just bake it. throw all the extra leftovers and stuff in there and add some chicken. All right. This little guy surprised me. Um, typically, I would expect something like this to be going for $15 to $20 online. This guy was going new for about $40 which I was shocking. So it must be a brand I don't know because it doesn't have a brand on it. Um, and then I found a bunch used for 25 to 30. Um, we are selling our version here at, for 1995. And this is another tea light. Um, yeah, we had a, a bird the other day with the big feet, but this one's a crow. Was that one a crow? Uh, yeah. So, I mean, some sort of black crow bird, but it's cast and it's got wrought iron legs. You can see I'm holding it here. It is pretty tall, uh, but we're selling it for $19.95. Doesn't need a lot. It's a little dusty, but you know I can fix that pretty quick. They're talking about pot pie recipes in the chat. Um, you, and guys are, you guys are the best. Gail gave her secret <laughs> ingredient. I feel like it's Ooh. worth saying because if people are watching the replay and they've been watching this long, they need to hear about Gail's secret ingredient. Um, it is Smithfield ham sausage. What? She gave up making them a few years ago when she moved to the Midwest and couldn't get it. But Smithfield's ham sausage, that's what she puts in her chicken pot pie. So fun fact, Smithfield was my sister's first job working at a pig farm down uh, in Beaver, Utah, right out of college. She went to college for animal sciences and... Uh, that was her first job was working for Smithfield. All right. Zeb's going to show the risk game. Risk. It's risk guys from 1959. If you haven't played this for hours and hours with your siblings, you missed out. I'm sorry. I have not <laughs> Or friends. That. Jamie didn't have I, siblings. I have three that sisters. Were her age. I did not grow up with them because my sister that's closest in age to me is 15 years older than me and then my sister renee who's on here is 20 years and then my oldest sister is 24 years because they it's like my mom had two families she had the three girls 15 years and then me it but does, it, i have played lots of games it has been used it does have a couple little spots condition. but i've got is it supposed to have four dice i don't know how many dice it comes with originally but it's coming with three from me and it's got all the pieces and the cards that i can tell um the box is in kind of rough shape, but everything else is in good condition. We'll have to play Risk tomorrow. Did we I have a newer the, version. Did I take the sticker off of it's this? It's $33.95. Yeah, I saw them going for crazy prices, but since our box is all beat up, it, we're, we're selling it for like $33. All right, so next up, recipe box. It's wooden, but what I love about it is the recipe is in brass, and it hangs on the wall. It was a dollar. It's got little brass hooks in the back. And we're selling it for $18.95. A lot of times I paint recipe boxes, but I just like kind of love the natural wood and the brass on this one. So we're just selling it as is. It does have a little, probably some whipped cream or something. We'll clean that off of there, but isn't it super cute? Okay, since, since we've been talking about recipes. Um, last week, we purchased the small plates at one Desert Industries thrift store. And at another one, I found the dinner plates with the rooster on it. They were, I think, a dollar, a dollar each, and we're selling them for ten ninety five. So I'm wondering if whoever bought the ones from last week will buy these. The fun four. things about these is I think the glazing is done by hand, and all the roosters are a little bit different. Oh yeah, they are. So I think they're done by hand. You can see. Oh, definitely they are. There we go. There, Those I'm trying cool. to get the glare off. But yeah, they're all. All the roosters are just a little bit different on there. Under they the said glaze. That, um, board games were the internet of their day. Did I already say that? I don't know. I, I thought it, but then I didn't. I don't know. Yeah, I we didn't really watch a lot of TV, and the internet didn't really become prevalent until I was like late high school, like 98. When 99. we started dating, your parents had a TV that didn't even have a remote and it had a dial. Yeah, I was in a big box. And that was with a in dial 1999. I mean, we just... I never, I haven't seen a TV like that since my grandma's house. I was like, do you guys actually, and they had a VCR, not even a DVD player, they had a VCR. Some of that could have been the boy's fault. Me and my brothers were pretty rough and tumble. And so my parents just stopped buying nicer TVs because we broke a few. Your mom also just didn't like it. Ironically, we didn't watch as, a lot of TV. As long as, as soon as you were out of the house, like once the boys were gone, your mom started getting big screen TVs everywhere she went. 
See, the boys. Maybe that's what it was. <laughs> also, by the time we were out of the house, they were a lot cheaper to get a bigger screen. Well, and TV. then they got cable and streaming TV. Never had that. I know. I remember, like, because my dad, we are TV watchers in our family. Like, we all love TV. Your dad it's how watched, we wind down. My dad had all the sports had channels. All the sports channels. We had a, the very first when big screen TVs came out. We got one. So I just grew up with a TV in my room. We all, we all had TVs. And it was so strange to like go to Zeb's house and they had an TV and it was like this big with a VCR. Jimmy didn't know how to fall asleep. She falls asleep to the I TV every night. I was glad for a TV. I didn't have siblings to play with. All right, next up, found this box. It's really cool. It's really it was cool. $5 and it's got like a green wash to it. So we're just going to leave it the way that it's it is. It's got red velvet inside. I did oh. blow it out and kind of took the tape. It's kind of burgundy. Rolled the, the lint roller yeah, to you it. did good. Um, and it's going to be twenty eight ninety five. It's beautiful. I love the. Let me hold it close so they can see it. This okay. camera doesn't pick up very good from far out. Zeb is much better at getting off his butt. I'm like this time of night. I don't. I don't get up very often. It is. It's resin. I found when I looked it up, a lot of stuff that came up that looked like this. This ornate was like silver for like a thousand dollars. This one's <laughs> if, resin. If you don't want to spend a thousand dollars, we got one for you. All right. Next up, this. Came from uh, Elaine as well. It's Fitz and Floyd. Ricamo is the the pattern of this plate. And if anybody knows Fitz and Floyd, super collectible. This little plate is eight dollars and ninety five cents. And then we have this is actually a toothbrush holder, but I just bought it because it looked like Delf to me. Here I'll go like so you guys can see it. But I think it would be great for paint brushes. So if you have artist brushes. Um, this would be really great for organizing that. So that's why I picked it up. You could also use it for toothbrushes. I'm not a fan of toothbrush holders like this because I feel like they just get stuff inside there and there's really no way to clean that out, in my opinion. You can do what you want when you buy it, but I would just use it for paintbrushes. Okay, next up, we've got this pair. This also came from Elaine. Um, it would be super cute painted, but I like the simple, like, cream and it's nine dollars and 95 cents it's a good size you need to do a vignette with that show them how to vignette, use it how to just, just put it on it. some old books it That's probably won't do. make it past the night a lot of stuff doesn't um unless it needs to be painted and people want to see what it looks like i don't know if caitlin's on here dropping links i'm not seeing them so if you guys need a link let it's me know. nine it's nine thirty seven over here is she tech oh so she, she is okay all right. Sorry, guys. I just didn't know if I needed to start dropping links because we're just getting late. It's 937. This is a, well, we're we're about three minutes to go on our regular program, but we probably got about 10 minutes to go of stuff to show you. Story time has been strong tonight. I actually have really enjoyed it. I hope it's been fun for you guys. Um, oh, I found the pair. Okay. This is a bowl that's oh, like sold. expanded metal that's been stamped into a flower uh, pattern. Um, I don't know if it looks like it's super shiny. There we go. You can see one of the flowers. Uh, but this this is from Elaine as well. It's going to be twelve ninety five. And Caitlin, there's a couple things she said she couldn't find, but I'm going to look and make sure later that they are listed. It's a big haul. So somebody said this was from like IKEA. Okay. But we sell IKEA stuff. No, but like that they they don't make them anymore. Oh. So I saw them online. So Vintage. Somebody was trying IKEA. to sell them for like forty. Oh. I thought. Twelve ninety five was appropriate. That yeah. was all. That was my story. I oh, was okay. like, <laughs> "All right, this was a dollar. This is. Uh, it looks like brass to me. I think it's cast, cast brass in the little heart shape. It is. It's uh, from nineteen eighty. I think eighty nine. Nineteen eighty nine. And I like the little picture in it. I, I I will not pass up little mini frames. I think they're really. We're gonna cute. leave this picture in there for you. It's gonna be fourteen ninety five. L. Arnold said Elaine's got some good stuff. Yeah, she does. Now Jamie Ray has some good stuff. And people, somebody commented a while back, they're like, why would people drop stuff off to you? If they're going to drop it off to the thrift store, sometimes I'm just closer or they would rather come to our shop than go to the thrift store. And so people bring us stuff. And, you know, surprisingly, people like me and you. They like <laughs> Seth. And they bring us stuff because they're like, hey, these people are nice. I'll give them stuff and they can give it new life and send it off down on its merry little way. Well, it's so. getting to be springtime. So chances of bumping into us at the shop are going to be higher because I'm going to be busting into the cottage on a regular basis in my free hours and also garden time. That, and that takes a, probably a solid hour every day. Isn't giving stuff away fun? I we actually know. buy stuff at the bins that you guys might never see because if we find something we think somebody else could use and it's maybe not something that we would sell – 
Like I found like this really expensive baby carrier, like 150 bucks. Mm -hmm. And Caitlin had a friend that needed a baby carrier, and just had a new baby, and she had. She's Caitlin like, described go. it as a really uh, garbage baby carrier that the person. Had. It was just not. No, it was just like not good for your back. Yeah. And so I just think it's fun to give people stuff. Wasn't it like you? a? Don't they even call it like Ergo Baby? The one we found. Ergo Baby, yeah, that's what I used to have. When my girls stopped playing with dolls, we kept a couple of them, but we gave away all their American Girl dolls. I could have sold them because we sell stuff, but I thought it was fun to give away. All right, next up, did we? Where did we get this? Was I don't think it was from the bins. I think it was from the Deseret Industries, okay. but I had to pull the tag off of it because it was ruining the picture for the website. I love the look of this. I love the Americana. We're coming, like, we've done a lot of spring decorating, and I can't find a ton of, like, 4th of July stuff that Summer's I love. Summer's coming. So whenever I can find this, I pick it up because I think it's cute in the shop, and I always like to kind of bunch it together on a display. Yeah. After we get past, like, Mother's Day, Father's Day, um, and Memorial Day, uh, 4th of July is the big summer holiday here in the States, and... You, people decorated for it. I love the little like house on it. So cute. All right. So this one is twenty six ninety five. Twenty six ninety five. That's a fun basket. And this okay. is this is not not a reed. It's like a wood woven wood. Let's basket. show them all the quilts, and then we have maybe a half a dozen other things. But before we do the quilt, so I looked this up. I thought this was a sleeping bag, and it's not. So I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Betty's. This is like the Betty's of the RV world, and it's vintage, and it's peach with this little, almost like a bee, maybe a flower, like little tiny print on it. Peach is the color of the year. And these are twin sized bags um, that are made for RVs and camping. And they have a sheet that is removable that you can wash. Um, the American flag wasn't listed, um, Christina. So I will get that listed um, this next week for the next thrift haul. You saw me peeking out the window. I had to let my daughter know that I was watching because there were four girls and now there's three girls and a boy. Oh, there's a boy out there. <laughs> something has, hap a, something right. has happened since we've been live. So I had to, you know. Is it the neighbor? Is it Ben? No, no I don't think oh. so. We have a heated pool. So the teenagers are enjoying it while we're in here. Okay, show them. Look how wide oh, this is. Yes. So I thought it was an extra wide sleeping bag, but it's a twin size for an RV. And you could use it like a sleeping bag. It's but it unzips and it's already got the top sheet and on it. And the brand is called uh, Travisac. And I looked them up. Just the sheets were like $70 for replacement sheets. And I'm selling this one for... And it comes tag? with the bag. I mean, $80, how cool is that? $9.95. And we have two of them. And are you boys going to be okay? You know, we're still alive, even though it's past. You'll be okay. Redrick is very sad because he doesn't have any video games on. $89.95, and we've got a set of two of these. And if they don't sell, then maybe I will get a RV or a cottage. You know what? And put them in a bunk. We we have a lot of, you know, a lot of things we should really do with our spare time. But I really want to do, like, a covered outlook so that we can camp, like, in the summer outside outside at the property i don't think i'm brave enough to camp outside all right let's show them the next quote what? before we start having a conversation about maybe a screened outside. porch all right Can, so this one work? i think you put 99 this one's not 99 i don't know i don't I, know which one it was i hold on you hold were please. spouting off numbers while you look that up we still have some hard goods to show them okay you show them that i'm gonna look up here i'm gonna come up front we got a better homes and garden 49 and it already sold better homes and garden this one i believe is from the 80s 89 i think i put it in the title um uh, yes 1989 is the copyright this one was actually the fifth printing in 1991 awesome recipes in these um some of these i like the older, I how to cook. the older versions of these um like 40 50 60 years ago are going for 40 50 60 wow. <laughs> i have my mom's um okay so this was 49.95 this quilt and the fun fun fact if you guys watch the video it had big red stains on it and i washed it with oxyclean i did a pre-soak in my wash with oxyclean and a Tide Pod, and almost all the stains came out. There's like a little teeny tiny stain that I could bear, like I was searching for it because I knew it was there to take a picture of it to put in my listing, but we sold it for $49.95. And this is a shabby chic, I don't know if it's picking it up, uh, quilt, and it did sell. You guys. Okay. 
when I bought this, Jamie was like, why are you getting that? It's a funky shape. I didn't say this it like that. This is a walnut. Yeah, you did. You said it looked like a whale, which you are not wrong. It's got an eyeball. It's a walnut burl cutting board. Um, and larger ones of these are around 40 or $50. Ours is small. You know, it's ready to do like some cheese cutting or some small vegetables, small fruits. This is going to be $19.95. Um, walnut burls are few and far between and very desirable and people are buying them up for gobs of money and making all kinds of crazy tables and stuff out of them. Is this that... is a small version that I love. Did you list this? Cause I didn't list it. It was in the piles. I just, I just put okay. it over here. I don't think this is listed. So let's just move it out of our side. All right. Why don't you show me your quilts? You're taller than I am. I will hold we'll, them. We'll rapid fire. So the Afghans range in price from 22 to 29 95 um, just depending on the size, I'm going to tell you right now, if it's got orange and brown in it, it's definitely a Zeb Afghan. He loves them. They're his favorite. I needed so. like one more cream line in this, but this one is still good. It, it's got those good seventies colors. Um, it's, you know, Jamie likes to call it like a camping Afghan and I can't disagree with her. It's perfect for like sitting around this cozy, really well made. cozy little campfire or something, roasting some marshmallows, getting some hot chocolate going, whatever you do around a campfire. All right, next up, we have this one has a scalloped edge and it's like a mint and white and it's like a baby, a little like a large baby blanket size. Yeah, it's it's long here. It's Let like me see long. if I can. You can put it over the edge of a couch. So I got about eight feet on the wingspan. Well, not quite eight. It's probably more like seven and a half but you can see how big it is there the cleveland brown colors that's what that was hey right, next up <laughs> we got more orange and green and yellow for you this one i definitely would probably have left but i love the fringe like, on nope, it we must take that home with us it's 29.95 i'm actually just these days i'm on a mission to save all the afghans the pattern on this one is really pretty um they're and it so would look great in like a bohemian it kind of reminds me of like a lemon lime drink or something like a citrus drink. They're so useful. They're so versatile. And, you know, if the prices we're selling them at, you probably couldn't hardly buy the yarn for some of these. This one looks like Baby Yoda. Let alone it's put them together. Green on one side, tan on the other. This side is the Baby Yoda I'll show side. you both. This you one I like because it's Yoda big. Is, then. This one, this one's big. You could put but it. It would be perfect for a little boy's room. Very like. So this is the room. green side. This is the tan side. Oh, sorry, and that's not it. That's just the tag. This one's twenty two ninety five. Yeah, because it's army green. I made it. I made it twenty two. Because it doesn't really fit my motif. Are you going to struggle with that? Yes. There we go. It just looked like there was a spot. Okay. Next up, this one is hand sewn. So this quilt was ninety nine ninety five. I don't know why, but they like folded it over and did a lip on each side. Could somebody who quilts tell me why they did that? Did they just make it too wide, and so they decided to? Do it that way. I don't know, but it's maybe it's for the top uh, so that you. And this can... one is homemade. Sometimes they're they're not, but this one is. It's big. Yeah, and this one's ninety nine ninety five. Okay, do we have more hard goods to show? We've got yes, we have a few things, not many, okay. like six. Okay, we're almost done. Sorry, guys. I know it's getting late. Kayla's Our East Coasters, Coast Coast. if you're still hanging out, we appreciate you being here with us. No, it's coming up on midnight for you guys. Yeah, so I was like, it's 11.45, I gotta go. I feel like this is the most variety of items we're about to show here. Like, none of this really goes together. But. It's like the stuff that landed at the end of the table that we All didn't right. show. Basket, 19.95. Maybe we paid a buck or two. It does have some some paint on it, but I love the woven pattern on it. Are we gonna try to get that paint off? Um, Yeah, we could probably try to get or that off. Or maybe we should just paint the whole thing. No, I think we can get it off. All right, next up, this basket. Zeb, you bought this. How much was this one? Uh, that one was $1.50. This one we bought because it's really big, so you could fit a ton of eggs, or you could do fruit in it, and it's $19.95. Just a really great, simple design. Talk about not simple. We got our little <laughs> danglies here. Now, if this doesn't sell, I might remove the danglies, but I know so many people that love them. Well, so, honestly, and these are these, glass. Yeah. And I think these are crystals up here that are on the beads. If yeah. not, they're plastic that are really good. But these they look like are, crystals. These to are me. glass, though. It's not plastic. Yeah. This one isn't. Um, it was $3. We're selling it for $28.95. It's a nice, good size cake plate. 
And then we've got this jar with a lid here. We, you know, we love these for organizing, putting baking goods in. Um, it was $3. We're selling this for $19.95. And last but not least, Zeb looked these ones up and they are wish jars. Yeah. I, what is that? I don't know. Cause you put your wish in them, <laughs> save it in there. These don't put tears in there. That's too many tears. Don't put tears in here. Just they're, wishes. They're $12.95. Each. They have, they're matching, but they're slightly different because they're probably hand painted, hand -painted. or different dye lots or something. Um, I think they're, I'm going to go with hand painted because the leaves are different. And on that note, friends, we have now shown you everything that I actually got listed. A few things I missed, so I'll get those listed for next week. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you guys for shopping. We had an amazing Iron Orchid Designs released yesterday. It was insane. If you have not we still checked have lots it out, of stuff. we still have, we've been restocking um, and reordering. So we still have everything available for purchase at jamiemarievintage.com with the IOD. Um, and that's it. So if you like this video, be sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Marie Vintage for more. DIY. And thrifting. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Good night. Now I got to find the mouse. It's okay. I got it right up here. I'll get it. Oh, you got it? Yep. Oh, it's over here. It's okay. All right, guys.